You dare enter my domain, worm? a bargain. The island for the heart of transparent law. Yes, yes, just as we agreed. But only a portion of the crystal. We don't want to alert the Sapiarchs too soon. Tell your fellow princes all will be well. The right master is no match for my mind magic. So Nocturnal has assured me. Don't disappoint us, Katora. For one purpose, worm. Your pistol cabal may defeat me, but you'll never stand against the entire Sigic Order. Once again, you fail to grasp the obvious. When the time is right, you will do exactly as I command. Until then, forget.
I will enter the Crystal Tower. I will take the heart of transparent law. Yes. Yes. Hide it away until I call for you to give it to me. Not even the princes must know where it is. Hide the heart. My memory shields! You destroyed them! Feel the crushing weight of your own insignificance! The mind. A sea slowed. Interesting. I haven't dissected such a specimen in an exceedingly long unit of temporal measurement. Valserin took the right master to Kapora Tower to administer to his wounds. Luckily for you, I arrived in time to help Valserin open a path out of the slowed's dying mind. Yes, I surmised as much. The triad of Daedric Princes has become bold in its attempts to influence Nern, though influence seems to be the least of their goals. The Slowed, however, was unable to harvest whatever memory it sought from the Right Master. That revelation disturbs me. I feared the Crystal Tower was too tempting a target for the Daedric Triad. I need to ponder the full implications of their plot.
wish, right master. I shall travel to Lilandril immediately. I owe you a debt of gratitude, friend of Valserin. What the two of you did to help me, that was a step beyond. Thank you. And it seems you accomplished what I have failed to do. Katora tricked me in the past, made me remember a victory I never won. Then he planted a compulsion, forced me to steal the heart of transparent law from the Crystal Tower. Apparently I hid it and forgot about it. He sought that memory. The Crystal Tower stands as a mystical protection for Somerset. Transparent law, a crystal at the top of the tower, serves as its source of power. With the heart removed from the crystal, the protection provided by the tower slowly weakens. Yes, a smaller gem that had been embedded in the larger crystal. If the Daedric Princes acquire the heart, they could take control of the crystal tower. You helped me remember my true encounter with Katora and his abyssal cabal. I remember how they defeated me 300 years ago. Perhaps the Sigic Sages can help me remember where I hid the heart of transparent law. At least you stopped Katora before the Sea Slow gained that knowledge. In the meantime, we must warn the Sapiarchs of the threat to the Crystal Tower. The Sapiarchs are Somerset's foremost scholars. They are the keepers of the Crystal Tower and the custodians of the College of Sapiarchs. I sent Valserin to Lalandral, where the College of Sapiarchs is located, to scout the area and see if the Court of Bedlam has made any moves against them. I need you to travel to Alinor to secure the Proxy Queen's permission to enter the College. My actions have weakened the Crystal Tower and endangered Somerset. I hate to think what else that foul creature forced me to do with its powerful mind magic. While we have never been formally introduced, the Proxy Queen is quite familiar with the reputation of the Sigic Order and its Right Master. No, I doubt Katora's magic could reach... I sent Valserin to Lalandral to scout the area around the College of Sapiarchs, Queen Iren's regent while she's away. Proxy Queen Alwyn Arwe oversees the governance of Somerset from the Royal Palace in Alinor. Thank you for heeding my call, newcomer. I don't suppose your passage to Somerset brought you past Waston Coraldale? My father, Kerteros, runs a boat in an angler fleet. They're long overdue. <laughs> I'm probably over-concerned. The weather's been fair and the wind's mild. The fleet set off west. Waston Coraldale is an island engulfed by coral reefs. But you can... The fleet set off west.
Well, never seen you before. Guess no one told you that this is my spot. Been my spot nearly a century. And it'll be my spot a century more, God's willing. Ha! Huh. Fancy that. I had told Hiranessa for years those sea elves would mount an invasion from Waston Coraldale. Figures they'd launch it while I was having a nap. Well, of course. Any royal marine of the Queen's Navy worth their salt would. Might have traded my saber for a fishing rod, but I've still got my sea legs, and I'm still as sharp as the day I mustered. The other... Aye. Even if they caught a glimpse of a sea elf cutter before it reached Waston Coraldale, there's no chance a fishing boat would have outrun it. Best we split up. Unless my creaking knees give me away, I ought to be able to handle some scouting while you're searching for survivors. We... Sacred Ascendants, take me home. I thought you were a sea elf. He's alive. At his age, I'd have thought he'd be the first to fall prey to those sea elves. Stranger, don't anger the salamanders. They're the only thing keeping those sea elves from wandering too close. You're sure we're talking about the same Kerteros? The one I know is more likely to be mistaken for dead and sleep right through this whole mess. is damnation on my back. <sighs> but I've seen everything I need to know what the enemy's up to. How fares the search? Any... <laughs> All this crowd never do when it comes to these sea elves. They're digging in, placing ballistae along the shore. When the Royal Navy finally does mount an attack, They'll be taking fire from Mauermer on both land and sea. I'm not suggesting we repel the whole invasion, but I do know my way around a ballista. If we... I'll get into position and await your attack. Then we'll give those sea snakes a good spearing while these two make for your vessel. All right. You two go prepare the boat our friend brought. We'll provide a distraction. Trinamax Wrath be with us. Seals, fond of winged snakes and soggy chests. Noted. Ah, fleshy, thick thumb biped. Hello. Uh, you're an elf, right? Or is it a man? I'm sorry. I have some difficulty telling you people apart. Uh, you're much less blue than the others. Josaja. Josaja, Josaja, Josaja. Wait, you're talking about that jittering mage I tricked into freeing me, right? 
Oh, she's a delight. I had hoped for a longer holiday. Can only manage a leap like this once a century, after all. Oh, well. I'm actually quite comfortable here, mate. Cozy accommodations, the transliminal tones of the ocean waves, gangly meat brains to mock. But I guess I should be going. These ills plan to sell me. Can you when we're done sewing up these chronosymphonic dis... <laughs> when we're done sewing up these time breaches, you'll let me wander the Mundus in peace. No more dim-witted sigics pibbering me with questions. No more dusty shells. Right. So, should we get going, or...? Fair enough. So, where to? I assume you've got a map or something? That'll do. Fall back and get to the boat. Captain coming aboard. Boats prepped and ready. So worried. What happened? Where's your boat? Not of that now, my nervous cup. I'll tell you all about it. But first, there's one more thing we need to see to. Come, friends. It's time we commit our memories to the drink. 
He washes up here after being gone for weeks, his boat nowhere in sight, and he acts like it's just another day on the sea. Oh, he put you up to that, didn't he? Papa always loves to embellish his journeys. Whatever the truth is, I'm just glad you brought him home safe. If all newcomers are so kind, Somerset will be fortunate to have you. He's not fooling me. I can tell something happened. Father's putting on a brave face, like he used to whenever I'd ask him about his younger days. The fanciful story of meeting my mother, a myth about how the moon and stars winked on the day of my birth, and tall tales about his fishing voyages. Seventy years isn't enough. I love my father, but all I want is to love him for who he is, not who he shows me. You didn't come here to listen to a grown woman bawling about her father to a stranger. Forgive me. A thousand pardons, but the battery requires your prompt appearance at the Proxy Queen's court.